Strava is the social network for athletes. We allow millions of athletes from all over the world to uh, track their performance and connect and compete with each other. Data is really the core of Strava. Athletes are uploading their GPS tracks and we are taking that data and processing it and providing insights back to them. So without data, Strava wouldn't exist. Prior to Snowflake, uh, we were using a, another cloud data warehouse solution. As typical, when people start to get access to data, uh, they get hungry for more access, and it didn't handle the concurrency very well. We saw some queries that used to take 15 seconds take upwards of 15 minutes. To us, that's really unacceptable. We selected Snowflake primarily because uh, it really handled that concurrency situation really well. So we saw that with the separation of compute and storage, we were able to spin up independent compute clusters and have all of our different users accessing the data uh, and not really contending with each other. Snowflake and Looker are really a core piece of our data infrastructure. So Looker runs directly on top of Snowflake and really makes uh, data available to users within Strava that aren't familiar with SQL. If we just had Snowflake, uh, it would still be a great situation. But with Looker, all of a sudden, we have another layer on top that allows business users to go and drag and drop and create their own charts, create their own reports, and share those reports across the company. Uh, so that's really, really key for us. We use Spark and Snowflake together very heavily at Strava. Uh, in particular, the use case for us is when we need to access and process geographic data. The really good seamless integration between Spark and Snowflake allows us to reach outside of the SQL toolkit uh, to process the data in ways that allow us to create really interesting products. Prior to implementing Snowflake, the engineering team had to spend a lot of resources just making sure that we could do simple things and trying to innovate and engineer around a broken tool set. And Snowflake it has come in and replaced that broken tool set with something that's really functional and actually just works. There's a fair number of use cases brand new to Strava that were made possible by implementing Snowflake. We have this set of raw data that wasn't accessible within our uh, previous data warehouse solution, and Snowflake opens that data up to a lot more people who are able to query it now. There's so many different things that Strava could do as a product, so there's so many different directions we could pursue, so many different products that we could build. One of the downsides of that is we don't have the resources to do it all. Uh, so we, data is really important for us to be able to figure out what are we going to pursue next. Right now the data engineering team is fairly small and uh, we don't want to become a bottleneck uh, for the company to ask questions about the business. Before, when I would have to spend you know, day after day answering questions about why are these reports running slowly, uh, why is my query getting killed, that's all really, really valuable time that I have to spend managing our, our data warehouse solution all. Pretty much to Every single one of those questions has been uh, eliminated. A lot of my time has been freed up to really focus on uh, the interesting problems as opposed to really the toil of management and the toil of maintaining breaking infrastructure.